Hey y'all. Hey y'all. What's up everybody? Good morning. It's a little, you know, it's almost the afternoon. We having a little bit of, you know, lunchtime tea talk, if you want to call it that y'all. Um, let me just give y'all some shout outs in the chat. What's up India? Hey Kyra, Leticia, um, and Angela. How are you guys today? Just really quick y'all. If you guys missed my live from last night, um, it was one for the books. <laughs> I am still cracking up because my husband was in like in his little basement man cave and he was watching it. So when I got off live, he like, ooh, that was that was something else. Hey Naomi. So um it's still under review by YouTube. I may go in and like add a disclaimer and put some like um, time slots in it just so you guys can know what you're watching but that live was only for entertainment purposes only I don't know if there was any facts in that live I may leave it up you know for anyone to watch or I may move it to members only I haven't decided I'm just gonna wait for it to be reviewed by YouTube first um, just to see if I can at least get paid um, India said, yeah, it was, but I enjoyed the difference um, or differing opinions. Yeah, I did too. I am not, I don't, I, like I said, I am not close-minded at all. I don't care um, that much to get affected by someone's opinions. I'm going to have my stance, but as long as we're having a respectful dialogue, that's just that. So I enjoyed it as well, but baby, Megatron had me rolling. I'm like, uh-uh, Megatron, I don't know if there was any facts behind that. I'm still waiting on my chat to load on that live because I need to see what y'all was saying on there because I know y'all was cutting up. But yes, y'all, so just wanted to give y'all a heads up on that. Now, today's topic, you know, this is going to be really short. I'm not sure if you guys have heard or seen the viral video of the beauty supply store being um, the, the owner being pepper sprayed and the people taking the wigs. Now, oh, Angela, okay, one second. Angela said, um, I enjoy your content last night. It was very good. Audrey, please explain to me what members only is. Thank you. So members only is like a subscription that I have here where you would have exclusive um, lives, um, chats, and community posts regarding more details in any topics that we dive into. So for instance, the Jay Black case, I had previously, before I uh, it exposed the video, the, sorry, the community post and pictures of Jay Black, I had let my, the members of my members only team know who he was. I shared like a Facebook status and, um, they would have like perks as far as getting the information before anyone else or just getting exclusive information that I can't really put on YouTube and get monetized. You guys would get it that way. So I would like make a video and just upload it. Um, so the more that I grow, the more I'm going to be able to give you guys exclusive stuff because a lot of things that I do get, I have to, you know, omit it because YouTube doesn't allow certain things on their platform to get monetized. So that's all that it is. If you go to my community tab, Angela, you will be able to see the link for my members only. But like I was saying, there is a viral video that was shared by the Shade Room and other tea channels where there was three women that went inside a beauty supply store. One was pregnant, one was holding an infant, and the other one was just a regular, you know, woman. And they pepper sprayed the cashier and uh, you basically robbed the store taking very expensive wigs. This hit um, social media and it's really been trending because these people were literally pregnant, holding a baby, and just really, really being ignorant. Now, the store that they robbed was a Black-owned, it's a Black-owned business, and it's only been open since April, you guys. April of this year. Um, the shop is called The Beauty Plug, and it's in Tamarack, Florida. They are open every day. They are literally getting it out the mud to be able to build a empire, a livelihood for their 
themselves and their family. The woman that was in there that was pepper spray was actually the owner's daughter. So, you know, when you have a black owned business, a lot of times you keep it in the family. So you hire your family members. Um, you hire your family owners to work for you and everything. So these people really assaulted the owner's daughter. It was really, really sick. And I really wanted to come on here to show you guys what the owner of the beauty plug is saying. We have exclusive audio that was produced by the beauty plug where she was able to actually find these people. And they were basically bragging about it and saying that this is something that they always do. So we're going to go ahead and watch it together. And I just want to give you guys this piece of information. <clears throat> I am a black owned business. So this is something that is near and dear to my heart. I feel so bad for these people, you know, wigs and hair, this industry, the beauty supply industry is very, very hard to get into and actually make a profit. The main reason why it's harder for um, us as black people to have a beauty supply store is because we have a market that is oversaturated with Asians owning the stores. And this is not to be, you know, like stereotypical or anything. A lot of Asians do own the stores, but they have vendors and they have certain prices that we cannot beat. Like they're, they're, the, the amount of product that they get for their dollar versus the amount of product that we can get for our dollar is, you know, very, 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 it's a high difference. Let me just put it like that. So it's very hard to get into the beauty supply store industry. So we have to give shout outs and kudos to this, this black owned establishment for doing something, for getting in this industry. And to have three people walk in there and have no regard for these people is bad. I mean, we know that they've been robbing the Asians and that's something that needs to be corrected as well. But I just wanted to really highlight that this was a black owned business and they've only been open since April. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and show you guys the Instagram of the owner. <clears throat> Oh, I don't know why. Okay. So this right here is their official Instagram. I suggest everyone just go and show your support and just follow it. Even if you guys, of course, not half of us don't live in Florida or Tamarack, but still something that, you know, you can really still support. They do have an online shop, it appears. So this is their website. Now, this happened on Sunday evening. Like I told you guys, they have been open every single day day since April. They don't really have any closed days. So that just tells you guys how hard they are working. Before I show you guys the details, I'm going to show you guys the initial post that was put up. This was posted two days ago, so Monday. It says, tonight we experienced a horrific event. Three girls came into our store, attacked my daughter with pepper spray, and stole multiple lace wigs. I cannot believe this. If you recognize any of them, please contact us. One was very pregnant, and the other was holding a baby that was approximately six to eight months. Videos will be released soon. My daughter is recovering okay. So as you guys see, these are the women. This is the baby right here in the red with a beanie hat on, being held by a woman in a bonnet. Behind her is a woman that has on a black and pink Playboy shirt with her belly hanging out. And then their friend right here is with the gray wig. This is them walking into the store. This is them still walking around, browsing the shop. You see the mom here is holding the binky in her mouth. More just clips. This is right here where she's pointing to certain wigs that is held behind the counter. Now, we all know what it means to hold things behind the counter. They're holding it behind the counter because these are the pricey items and they have to keep it intact. So the girl is like pointing to certain things. This is them trying on the wigs, you know, still shopping around. So, like I said, this occurred Sunday night. And once the video did publish all over social media, what happened was a lot of people actually did identify these girls. And this is what the girls had to say. One moment.
Sorry, you guys. Like I said, it's lunchtime. I got to take care of baby girl. But anyway, so this information has been shared on the beauty plug by the owner. So shout out to her. So the first thing that she said was, so these next clips are in the same group. Oops. Are in the same group. Someone added me today, but this voice note was in there a day before. So this all this voice note that we're about to hear came in on Monday. And this is what they had to say. Hold on. Before I play it, I have to mute myself. I hope y'all know we been motherfucking stealing. Like, bitch, we been had chairs. We been doing all that. We just, when we used to steal, we, y'all didn't know we still just to steal, just to have shit. We ain't have to motherfucking steal. That's just saving extra money in our motherfucking pocket. And for all them hoes that's supposed to eat on it, talking shit, I hope y'all know, bitch, we coming to eat y'all ass up and we gonna whoop y'all ass one by one. One by motherfucking one. This nothing new. Like, why everybody acted like this something new just because they hit the internet. Okay, it's nothing new. The fuck y'all doing too much on I on IG right now. So were you guys able to hear what they said? I'm going to shop, stop sharing my screen because the next things are like really, really small. So I'm just going to read it off to you guys. I will post the actual steals on my um, on my actual community community tab. But basically what the women said was that they have been stealing. This is nothing new. They do it for quote unquote fun. They do it just because they can. Basically, these are not teenagers. You guys, these are actually women. These are of age women. So one of the screenshots that the store owner was able to get says, and this is from the same chat, um, they basically said, we don't give a fuck that you, we don't give a fuck that you black bitch. So basically they were in there telling these women, like, you know, this was a black owned store and they said, we don't give a fuck that you black. And um, because the beauty, the beauty plug actually joined the group. And then they also said, you and your bitch ass daughter finna get it again. They went on to say, fuck your bitch, or fuck your daughter, bitch, and fuck how you feel. I'll come spit on you and your daughter. Fuck a black owned business. Your bad body ass won't give Sanaya a free wig, bitch. So Sanaya is the names of one of the uh, robbers. And it's just like, are you guys serious? First of all, the the criminals get dumber and dumber as social media progress. Why are you guys in a group chat and talking about this? And, oh, my God, India, I'm happy that you said this. India said, that is trifling. What if the owner had a gun? She doing, uh, <clears throat> she doing that pregnant and with a baby on her hip? Exactly. Now, we know that um, there are a lot of owners that have the right to bear arms and they have the right to protect their store. That woman was assaulted first with pepper spray. If she would have pulled out a gun to secure her safety, she wouldn't have been in the wrong. You had a baby on your hip and the other one had a very big exposed pregnant belly. You guys are the world's dumbest criminals. So the beauty supply owner said, okay, this is the last thing I'm going to post about this unless there's an update. All three girls have been identified and they will face justice in due time. Many have asked for video and until now, I have refrained for several reasons. But first and foremost, as a mother, it's hard to watch my child be victimized and hear her screams. Now my child is being victimized again because of false information being spread. I am releasing the video now so there are no more questions or confusions about what actually occurred and we can move forward. Neither I nor my daughter have ever interacted with these ladies prior to this incident so i actually had the videos that um she did post and we're going to watch those as well the next thing that she said was my daughter never disrespected snatched a purse or spit on anyone that is not who she is if anything she was being too nice by letting them hold and test the wigs she's a good she's young and has a good heart and she did see the suspicion in them when we opened this store, our goal was to treat everyone with respect and provide a different experience for our people so that our customers wouldn't feel like they are being judged as thieves as soon as they walk in. 
This incident makes us feel that we have to change that and that's sad, very sad for us. Since we've been open, we've maintained five stars because of the respect and care that we take with customers. Now an abundance of caution seems to prevail. P.S. And I apologize if I've offended anyone with my language or actions over these past few days. This has all been very overwhelming and I was angered over over what happened to my daughter. We are moving forward from this. So what she said speaks volumes. And like I told you guys before, this is a black owned beauty supply store. And we already know that this industry um, is really being overtaken by beauty supply stores that is owned by Asians. Now, the stigma that is stuck on that is when we walk into these beauty supply stores, we are being followed. We are being judged. We are being disrespected. Um, just a quick story. I, where I live, we have a beauty supply store that is famous for taking pictures of their customers, which majority of them are black customers because it's a beauty supply store. They're not in there selling Aussie. They're in there selling Shea Moisture. But anyway... This Asian um, owned store literally takes our pictures and will put them up like say someone does something. They'll put it up and they'll say very derogatory terms like get these stupid motherfuckers out of here. And people continue to shop there because there's no other place for us to go. Um, we actually do have two black owned beauty supply stores where I live. So that is amazing. But again, it's very hard to get because our prices, we cannot get these same products for the same price that these Asians are getting them. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and um, play the videos that she was referring to just so you guys can get an idea of what happened that night. Now, let me go ahead while I'm looking for the video. Let me put up my trigger warning because unfortunately, I feel like every time I get on here, I'm saying something that's triggering. But we're just talking today. <clears throat> Brittany says, Texas beauty supply stores have a cop, a cop in front um, of the entrance. They don't follow us and are very nice, but they do have ever post pics of criminals. The captions are just about stealing. Okay. So that, yeah, the fact that you have to have a cop, like, is that serious? Let me get the right tab. Okay, so this is the first view of what happened. I'm going to mute so you guys can hear. This is a real name. That's not human, though. Not human? Mm -mm. This ain't real. This one human, right? No, that's not human. Oh, don't oh, you look at my human back here. Can I see that long one? This straight one? Yeah, look at that blonde one. That's for real, bro. <laughs> don't look at that blonde Yeah. This blonde one. No, not that one. <laughs> this one? No, that one. No. They keep curled. That's this deep. One? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's deep, buddy. This is... I think this one is really That one? Yeah. Oh, this is. This one? Oh my god, this is so wrong. I like that one. This is pretty This is pretty Can I see the blind? The straight one. You should get that long one. That one looks real. That purple one? Can I see that long black one? This is a mirror over here. This is all black one? This one I read that purple one. That's not right. That's a good one. This one look low on down on me. This one look all black on This one look low on me, Daddy. Ooh, this is good. I know, right? But just real. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Can you put this bitch on me? Put it on me, Snap. I'm from the body. But I'm from the body. But in this one. That's for you. I need this one for a photo shoot. Tell how, I mean, it's very good. She said a 30. I don't 
Okay, so that was the first video. As you guys seen, when the people, when the um, three women walked into the store, they were immediately greeted by the cashier. She said hello. She was pleasant. They walked in. They immediately was like, oh, is this real lace? Is this real hair? She continued to educate them on the product. You hear the woman with the um, gray, gray, white color hair was like, I'm about to buy this. I'm about to buy this, you know. But they kept, you know, basically asking this woman what th what the products was. And the crazy part is they tried to say that this girl was being rude to them, that she spit on them and did all this. But you'll see in the next clips that that never happened. I'm going to rewind and slow down the clip for you guys. So just one moment. So did you guys see what happened? So basically it happened in a matter of seven seconds at the start of this clip. She literally was still, they was just playing with the hair, still talking. The girl with the Adidas striped jacket one with the white gray hair literally started to walk and pull out the pepper spray and sprayed her directly. And the other two follow suit. Um, exactly, Lee, what if she had an allergic reaction? This is ridiculous. The way that this girl screamed. Now, I don't know if you guys have ever been pepper sprayed I have never been pepper sprayed directly, but I have been in a crowd where they were spraying pepper spray. And that stuff is literally paralyzing. I don't care what anyone says. It's hard because it gets in your throat, your nose, your eyes, everything. Exactly, Brittany. The baby could have gotten sprayed. Um, and the end, you don't know. They didn't um, strap the kids in when they sped off. Yes, they sp sped off really, really quickly. We have one more angle of this um of this situation so i'm gonna play that angle so you guys can see it face on what happened this place was actually decked out in cameras and it makes sense so i'm gonna show you guys the final clip in facing forward so you guys can see exactly what takes place Oh, don't we keep our humans back here? Can I see that long one? This one? This scrape one? Yeah, look at that blonde one. For real, bro. This don't one? look at that blonde. Yeah, this blonde one. No, not that one. You're curly one. This one? No, that this one. one. No, that one. No, they keep curl. And the pink? Yeah, yeah. That's that's deep wave. This is. I think this one is deep wave. That one? Yeah. But it says. This curl. one just keeps curl. Oh my god, this is so raw. I like that blonde one. Can I see the black one? Which straight one? Which straight one? Damn, you should get that long one. I'll see how I do that one. Oh, that one looks real. That purple one? Can I see that um black one? Just on black one? Mm -hmm. Can you see this so, all black one? Mm -hmm. 
This one I read that for you. That's one. That's what you mean. This one look long and dumb for me. Mm, this is all black one. This one look long and dumb for me, Donnie. I know, right? Is this right? Yeah, this is it. This is TV. Oh my God. I can put this bitch on me. Put it on me, please. I'm finna buy this one. Well, I'm from what is this one? That's 30 inches. I need this one for a photo shoot. Hell, how, how many inches are you? She said a 30. All of them 30? Mm hmm. This one? And there you have it, guys. That is how they did this. This was literally, it was in the store for not even two minutes. Um, but before they did what they did and you can tell like if you watch the clip the their body language was suspicious as the daughter said like they were laughing they barely would let her talk and the girl with the tracksuit on had a um had her hand in her pocket the entire time so you know that she was gripping the pepper spray one second guys i got a call Okay, sorry, you guys. So anyway, um, you can tell that they had this planned out and they really did not care. Now, if you guys are just coming in, like I said earlier in the live, I did play the actual audio. These people do not care. They said that they steal all the time. They do it just because they can and they don't give a fuck. Them, the owner did drop down in the private chat that they were having. And they said that we don't give a fuck that you are a black owned business. So I wanted to go ahead and share you guys those clips because I know a lot of people do not have Instagram and um, the social media pages were not really sharing the full scope of actually what happened. Um, but I hope that these on this owner does get justice as well as her daughter, though these women are out of control. And I feel so bad for that baby that was in there like they could have been hurt for real, for real. So, um, <clears throat> sorry, excuse me. So yes, that was it for today's video. I just wanted to quickly come on here and talk to you guys about that. Let me know your thoughts about this. How do y'all feel in the comments? And also, how many black owned, do you guys have any black owned um, hair stores in your area? <clears throat> yeah, one of them was pregnant. And she did not care. She did not care. Did not care at all. And, you know, I'm not familiar with Tamarack, Florida. So I don't even know how they are out there. But I'm like, hopefully y'all stay safe because y'all over here talking about some. Y'all going to find the people that's been talking mess on social media and, and beat their asses because, you know, we have an opinion or we feel like y'all trifling for robbing these people. Y'all going to beat us up. Um, but who's going to beat y'all asses for doing what y'all did? Because it's just disgusting. <laughs> Lisa, we have a food truck. Yes, and they carry about seven items. Laugh out loud. I go to the Asian stores because they actually sell everything I need. Yep, like I told you guys, it's it's crazy how um, they are able to get their hands on products that we cannot, like, we would not, we would have to make the product extremely high to be able to make a profit off of it. Yes, I am extremely embarrassed as well. Lee Green said the food truck, they actually burned the lady's food truck down just to be ignorant. Wow. See, we have to do better, especially with our own. We cry and cry about the way that we are treated um, by white people and by other races. But yet when we finally get things just for ourselves, we treat them so poorly, and that's really not the way that things should be. If you guys have never heard of Black Wall Street, this was a the first Wall Street, baby. This was a community of Black people that were educated, schools. Um, we had doctors. We had bankers. We had so many things, and we were thriving so good on our own without needing to be included because um, y'all know how I feel about being included. I don't want to be included. I, I don't. Um, I really want us to have our own. So we had our own community and it was bombed. It was bombed. 
the white people did not like that and they burned bombed us literally flew over us with helicopters and dropped bombs on our black wall street so anytime that we um try to build that back up look at how we're being treated look to each other like look how we are handling these things and i know that some people don't believe in uh having ancestors or believing in you know things that you that come full circle our ancestors would not be happy we have especially us our new generation we have such a um mind to really change the future change our trajectory and how we're going to live our lives and a lot of it is because we are remembering or we have like an insight or some type of feel or emotion from our ancestors pointing us and navigating us to really get back to owning our own and building up our communities and stop asking to be included we don't need to be included we are well and capable of doing more and better period, point blank, because every time we do it, we do it and we show out and they hate it. So we really need to really, we are the biggest consumers. So if we can consume from Walmart, we're not going in Walmart pepper spraying them and bombing them and, you know, talking about them the same way. Why do we do it to our, our own people? So that was just a lesson for today. I just couldn't believe that. I didn't know it was a black owned business. I really didn't know until I started digging. So really really sad india said they say i don't like miami people the two blessed it's in broward county it's a nice area they do have a few caribbean owned businesses not caring is going to have her delivering that baby from prison exactly and like the people said they really strive to make a different um different atmosphere so we wouldn't feel so judged when we walk into places but now they have to change their policies they have to change the way that they treat their customers because one bad apple spoils the the group yes it's extremely dangerous and embarrassing like it is embarrassing we really have to do better we really have to do better so that was it for today's guy today, guys. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't. And also join my membership. Okay, sir.